What is going on guys, Comfort here bringing you another video today. Welcome back to another Call of Duty video. And today's going to be a video on talking about how does the new League play in Black Ops 4 work for ranking up and um, all that type of stuff. So just a few minutes ago, Treyarch released a blog post about um, basically just introducing the World League rank system and how it works and all that type of stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to break it down and uh, read the most important parts out of this blog. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to read it for yourself because I'll probably do a pretty poor job on explaining it because it's a lot of stuff to read here. So, um, to start off, um, the time frames of the league events will be three to four days. So if you guys go on league play, you guys will see that um, it says right above the little final match thing that it ends in three days. And um, uh, so the three to four days will be like be the time frame determining what your rank is for that event and then um, after that it ends I don't know if it starts up again or if uh, you have to wait a couple days for your, your rank to actually change but I think after three to four days it gives you a new rank for your rank up and then uh, it just starts back up and all that type of stuff so um, once a league play event starts which is right now uh, you'll be placed in a division of up to 50 players around your same skill level to compete for a top position in the division ladder. So if you guys look at your division, you get put into some random random type of division. So mine is Knight 110. I was like, what the hell is that? I don't know what's going on. But supposedly, um, what you're competing for in the ladders, just like original league play from Black Ops 2, so they say it's way worse. Um, you compete for the ladder points, and um, if you finish in the top, like if you place first in the ladder event, you will be um, put into the a different rank once the event ends. So you guys want to keep grinding for those ladder points and get into the top. Then after the three days, you will be put into a new rank. Um, your division has no bearing on who you are matched with when competing, as you will always be matched with players from the entire global population in league play who are the closest to your level skill. I find that complete bullshit because every time I play by myself or with a couple people, my teammates are absolute bots. So um, I just don't think that they don't know how to run matchmaking. It's always been like that. Um, so the ladder points and daily bonuses. Um, a base ladder point value is awarded for a win with an increased points for every win in a streak up to a four game win streak. A loss will deduct, deduct penalty points from your ladder and reset your win streak. So. Um, you get more points for win streaks with your daily bonuses, and then after four wins, I think they um, go away until the next day. Um, so, they created a permanent progressive rank system, and uh, it's focused on a both lifetime and recent performance called your World League Rank. The new system progresses players higher in ranks based on a final placement events, and it permanently reflects on personal best milestones that players achieve such as placing top 10 or first place, along with the streaks of getting multiple first places in a row, and um, such as the rank display in the Black Ops 4 is based on a more rewarding persist rank system that allows players to progress from event to event. The higher you finish in events, the faster you will progress through the system, and your, sis your, and your success will always be reflected in your rank. So, the way that these uh, ranks work is um, you will be given um, gems for your placements. So if you guys look at your league ladder, um, it'll say your final re replacement or your final placement gem rewards. And if you're top ten, you get three. But if you're first, you get four. And um, by the end of the event, I'm guessing that's just how you um, level up your rank. So um, after earning four gems in your um, rank, so if you place first, you will be leveled up to rank two. So you'll have the two ne next to your name instead of one. Um, and you get, that's just a different way for ranking up. There are 20 ranks to achieve, so if you just keep grinding up every week, you should be able to get a better rank. Um, rank 1 through 10 is 3 gems, and rank 11 through 20 will take 4 gems to level up. So it'll take a long time to get to um, level 20 for ranked play. So um, if you finish top 10 in your, um, your division after the first few days you'll get uh, permanently upgraded to silver so your, your badge will turn silver and you will be a silver player if you finish first place in your knight or not your knight that's my thing but knight 110 or your division you will be permanently upgraded to gold and if you finish first place in seven different events you will be upgraded to diamond so if you're that good you will be a diamond player 
and uh, that's how that works. And there are also things called victory flames. Um, they reflect the highest level of performance for players at the top of the, their game. Gold flames will appear after you place first place in a league play event and will last for one event unless you place first again. So um, people will be able to tell if you were a first place player. So that, okay, this is pretty good. He's got to, you know he's got the flames. So um, if you fa uh, if you place first place once, you will get the gold flames behind your your rank. If you get it for a two time streak, you will get it for um, you will get a blue flame. And if you get first place for three uh, events in a row, you will have purple flames. So that is a different way of uh, showing who's who. So that's pretty much the whole blog. I probably missed some stuff. Um, I don't know if I did a good job explaining or not. I've, I'm really bad at just making up like videos like, on the spot by reading. So if I had a little difficulties, um, some difficulties, you know, explaining this, I'm sorry. Uh, the link will be in the description if you guys want to read it for yourself. But so basically, um, in summary, there are three to four day events, and you just play as many matches as you want, and you earn ladder points. And if you place top ten in your ladder points, you will be upgraded to silver. And if you place first, you will be put into gold, and then you get cool different banners and stuff. And uh, you you still earn XP towards your level. You still get um, black market tiers if you guys are wondering. So uh, it's a really different rank system. I don't really like it. I just wish it was just like a World War II type thing. Even though the game kind of sucked, where you just get a rank and you get points and you level up, and every like a thousand points, you're in a new rank. But that's not how it is. Um, a bunch of different new systems. So. If you guys want to just read it for yourself, it'll be in the description. So, yeah, if uh, this video helped you guys out, please uh, just let me know down in the comments if I did a decent job. I'll probably have a ranked play match behind, um, so you guys don't have to just listen to my voice. Or I'll just have some pub match going on. But if you guys enjoyed this video and are trying to stick around and watch some uh, more Call of Duty and a bunch of type of other games like Apex possibly, um, uh, hit that sub button. Uh, and uh, stick around because you know my goal for the end of the year is a thousand subs I'm about 720 so you know I'm, I'm getting there but um, slowly but surely but I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next video peace out